we get. One to zero versus Lin. Lin here sticking with the Blade Master. Oh, excuse me. Just like earlier against Hoppy. One to zero here. Not with the Ted Fiend build. Nope, he is going the good old ghoul build. Scouting with the Skellies as well. Oh, is he really going to commit for the Magi? Seems a bit risky. Oh. And Snare's flying. Blade Master. Would be a big lasset here if he gets it. Making his presence known against the DK right away. It's around it there. To back up, maybe. Both really, really want to get this last hit. Would be level 2 for the DK if he gets it, and he does. Blade gets the item. It's only the cloak. Both heroes very hurt here. Whew. Had to pop the speed scroll there to get out. What is there? Willing to tango. Here in the beginning stages. And he's got the ritual dagger to heal up as well. Ooh, look at that heal. Juicy. I like the early dust. Needed to have the early dust there to commit for the creep cap. Dude, one to zero is on point here. Realize that even there he has the opportunity to punish the ground because there's no speed scroll anymore. Oh, oh, and locks in the surround. Ooh, that's big. Great items for the Blade Master, at least. He's gonna have to windwalk again. He's super low mana. And losing that grunt, of course, is very painful. Lin, already in trouble. But of course, the Blade Master is a good comeback hero. Are under in the late game, on level 4, the Blade Master can do a lot by himself. Zero. Scouting with the skelly. Wait, do you see it? Oh, the coil. Oh, it was almost there to get the last hit. Oh, the DK's on the chase. Oh, the level 2 coil here is so strong. One right click and a coil is a kill on the Shadow Priest. Yep. Oh my god, dude. Lin is getting pummeled so far. Oh my god, is he gonna lose the, is he gonna lose the Birdzucker? No way. Oh, coil not enough though. All right. You don't want to lose the Berserker. DK already level three and a half. <laughs> Ouchie. Ouchie wouchie. All trust has to be put in the blade. Big mana the potion found. Are under I hear that's pretty good. The ritual dagger, right? Like, until half a year ago, we all, we all thought the ritual dagger was kind of a meme item. It was so bad. But it's actually pretty damn good. No cap. to creep in the corner. This is a big creep check opportunity for 1 to 0, especially with the Lich coming. <clears throat> and again, Lin has to run. He's had to run this whole time. Trying to put some damage on the DK with the Hex. But Lin needs to be careful for himself. Well, he has the Health Stone, though. Oh, wait! Maybe an opportunity to kill the Death Knight here. 1 to 0. Is he overextending? There's one more Hex! Oh! The Nova... Not good enough to prevent the Hex. Ooh. One more crit! Ah, he has level 2 crit, no level 2 Windwalk. Oh my god, if he had level 2 Windwalk, he could have killed him. A player's forces are under attack. He's trying to chase. Oh my god, dude. If only he had the Windwalk. 
Ooh, one to zero. Almost throwing away his lead. I would say he's still in the lead. But not so clearly anymore. Alright, Klaus plus nine, baby. Let's go. Rank plus four. Okay. It's very good for the TC, actually. Who is coming? One ghoul dying to the wyvern. That's pretty sloppy by happy. Ah, wait. One to zero, I mean. Wyvern. Almost got the last hit. But the DK is looking very strong, man. Soy Mask as well. Almost level four. Lich almost level two. And the tower can't finish fast enough. Same for reinforced. Oh, happy could cancel the tower, actually, if he bypassed the TC. I said happy again. I mean, one, two, zero. Okay, but the tower finishes just in time. See Stomps doing a decent job. No Orb of Lightning yet. The gold is low for Lin. Wait, where's Frenzy? Ah, he does have Frenzy. Berserker goes down. Big experience. Level up for the DK and the Lich. But the rules, of course, can be taken out. Especially if the Blade Master crits a bit. One crit. Let's get the old lightning. Yes, he does. Just in time. Just before the shop goes down. I like there's space back here for a new shop. In a siege. Alright, Lin holding on. Great base build. With the two burrows in front. With the tower. With the reinforced. Very smart. All right, Lynn survives. Still needs more levels. All these heroes have yet to level up to be able to fight well. Double Kodo, by the way. Okay. 3rd Kodo! We saw that before by Lin. This weird game on AZ. Good thing about the Kodos is they have a lot of HP. And they don't take bonus damage from ghouls. They can devour, of course. Oh, big stomp and a big crit. That's a fiend kill right away. And a ghoul devour. Oh, Lin. Doing it so far quite well. It's a funny army. One grunt, one wyvern, three kodos. And now one raider. Just for the purpose of ensnare. They're now going Banshees. Saw the game earlier by Happy and saw how good Banshees can be in the right scenario. Wait, so we mask on the Lich. It's kind of weird. I guess he's got the big mana on the Death Knight, so he's covered there with mana.
Lane has been on the receiving end this whole game. Still playing from behind. How he would love to find Claws of Attack plus 12 here. Claws or Helm of Valor would be the best, I think. <clears throat> Happy hitting the main base again. God damn it, I keep saying happy. 1 to 0. Who didn't make a single destroyer yet, by the way. Let's get the upgrade if he needs it. Alright, triple level up from this camp. A really big deal. Claws plus 12. Alright, baby, now we're talking. Plus 36 damage on the blade. Wait, why was that? 87 max damage. Oh, oh, oh my god. But a lot of the main base is falling in the meantime. But if Lin can defend one more time, he might be able to still win this game. Oh, there's only one Banshee. He has to hex the Banshee before she uses the curse. Ideally. Oh, too late. Blade Master is cursed. Doesn't have an invuln, by the way. Silence on the Shadow Hunter. Sadie's in the back, not getting targeted so far. De uh, Blade Master just in the front line. Going for the Lich, lots of damage onto him. Invul Potion popped early, afraid of the stomp, and then the danger of falling. Silence again, the Blade Master's damage is becoming very noticeable. Not too many misses yet, I think. That Fiend survives, though. There was a miss. There's a crit! 240. Quite impressive. Stomp again, and the Blade Master looking for kills. Oh, missed the crit! The Banshee Curse is. perhaps enough? Or is it? Still lots of healing. I think Lin is holding here. By the power of the Blade. First hit purge, another kill. Trying to get more, the destroyer going down as well. Lin, this looks very similar to what he did against Happy earlier. 258 crit, and that's too late. I think he used the end snare to try to cancel a coil. No, I'm lagging. Uh, please no. Tenacity from Lin, never giving it up. Almost a surround. Ooh, that was as close as it gets. First hit purge. Nope. A player's forces are under oh, there it is. Purge gaming. Whee! Crit after crit. And this is where it's fun now for the orc. One kill after the next, and that is game. GG. The magic of the Blade Master and the Triple Hero. Even if it looks rough for a long time, even if you're getting pummeled for a long time, in the late game, anything is possible with a strong Blade Master. And that is the 1-0 lead for Lin. But that doesn't have to mean everything. That was the case also earlier against Happy. Of course, it was crazy good items on the blade. If he doesn't get those claws plus 12, the game might look a bit different. For map number two, just like earlier, we're gonna see Concealed Hill again. Wait, what am I 
I'm trying to do. All right, we are ready for map number two. Very strong play by Lin. After being a tough spot, and that's kind of the way this matchup normally goes nowadays. The Blade Master can't really keep up with the creep speed of the undead. And then the frenzy timing around 50 supply with the triple hero and the statues is very strong. But then if you hold on, if you survive, if you get to that powerful critical mass, the Blade Master can dominate. But it seems like a lot of special conditions have to be met for that to actually happen in the end. Oops, I got the score wrong. Sorry about that. Alright, it's Blade again. Again, the Google build by 1 2 0. Second borrow here, tower here. I bet we're gonna see the same setup once more. Plus plus five, that's a good start. Same for one to zero. Same opening here by Lin coming through the mid. being sold again. That seems to be the new way. Oh, the Blade Master gets a freebie. Oh, no way. Oh, he messed it up. That's annoying. Acolyte certainly shouldn't fall. DK is around. Ooh, mantle as well. Sick items for one to zero here. A player's force Tier two our... coming swiftly. The orc noticeably ahead. Circle for the blade. He looks to be quite under leveled here. Definitely has to go crit level 2 and level 3, I would say. gonna commit with the two grunts if he gets a kill it's worth it but if he loses one or two grunts for nothing in return that's bad oh grunts still in danger oh that one's certainly dead that one must be dead right speed scroll oh didn't even need to speed scroll great control by Lin. 
keeping the grunts alive and also preventing level 3 DK for a long time. <sighs> is he really going to go to the natural? That's kind of an easy read. A player's force is under one to zero, not going to check the natural. Okay. I think one to zero knows this is happening. But instead he's going to give him the time and do something else. Skelly could cancel the healing here. No, oh, never mind. Just expired. Ring of Regen is okay. I think he could have had better items. And they're taking away the camp here on the opponent's side. Finds the sentry wards. Ooh, that's such a good item. Shadow wants to keep creeping. Oh, the DK close by, but not in time to steal the item. That grunt might be dead. Oh, the speedster was dispelled by the creeps. Lols. Okay, might still be able to save the grunt. Hex? One more time? Oh. Okay, the grunt is dead. So that means the ghoul... Oh, perhaps not dead. I think it's kind of okay for them though, he got the item. He got a ghoul. He lost one grunt and he forced a lot of mana out of 1-2-0. He's got the wyvern, he can still creep. One to zero. Very aggressive here. Wait. Coilnova, hello? He's not using Coilnova. What the hell? I mean, on the grunts. Shut on here. Completely out of mana. That's troubling. The tier 3 is reached. The TC is coming. This is where the orc is supposed to be getting stronger finally he needs levels that's what lin needs the most levels 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 oh the lich heading south again very aggressive play by one to zero here i feel like happy would be creeping way more the dk back at home picking up the orb frenzy is queued Wait, if there's a Hex? Uh, doesn't want to commit to the Hex yet. Oh, now he does. But the DK's here. Just in time. Oh, wait. Big Master kind of surrounded here. Wind walk, speed scroll, heal wave, or heal salve, rather. DK out of mana, by the way. Trying to go for a heal scroll. It's going to be a big one. Big Master needs to use it, maybe. Ooh, Shadowhunter just barely gets out. Here's the TC, ready with the stomp. Everything's hurt everywhere. No heal wave at the moment. Oh, the heal show was big though. Heal up the heroes and the wyvern. Beautiful stomps. And what is there? I just lost quite a bit there. Three ghouls going down. Didn't find any kills in return. A nice scroll of the beast usage there by Lin before the destroyers were ready. And there's still a lot of creeps left on the map. That's good news for Lin. Because he's the guy who needs the levels. And again, here's the push. Anthem, 1 to 0 special. The Naga third. Something that Happy doesn't do. Oh, he didn't get the orb. Lin didn't quite have enough gold there to pick up the orb. But he's turtling. Great base build here by Lin. Lots of room in the back of the base, behind the towers, behind the burrows. A player's force is hard. Oh, the 
blade. I would love to get the steel here. That should not be allowed. Oh, but he stole the item! Cadgus pipe stolen! Oh, huge yoink by Lin. That is a enormous deal. One to zero. Without reveal. Oh, and he got the tome as well. Everything seems to be working out for Lin right now. But one to zero in the past looked really good with that Naga. Talisman of Evasion, not bad. Two Kodos. And you can see the burrows are doing some decent damage. We'd love to see more peons inside the burrows. Don't think really Lin needs that much lumber anymore. And now he's got the orb. Plus 23 damage on the blade next to the Kodos. A player's forces are under attack. Bone chimes. Not very good for the undead. There are a lot of good items here for Lin. Especially Quelthala's boots. And I think actually the best aura would be the devotion. Full of giant strength. Meh. Kind of good for the TC. I would love for Lin to focus the Naga. I feel like that's something that wasn't done enough in the past. Speed scroll, end snare, hex stomp on the Naga. Blade Master does not have an invul potion, by the way. It's kind of scary. It's almost reckless, I want to say. But then again, there's no silence. Uh, down to the blade right away. The first stomp didn't work out too well. Kodo's running in, getting off one devour. Blade Master has to wait for the cooldown of the heal wave. Now he's got it going for the DK as well. With the hex focus fire, almost got the kill. The story of the spell was in time, just barely. Blade Master dropping low but not falling. Still a supply lead on 1 2 0. TC two and a half though. TC level three is gonna be a big big level up. Same for the Blade Masters level four. Punch Zero tried the Banshees once, didn't like him. He's also close to double level three. Naga and Lich, very strong heroes here on the other side. Big Master finally has an Immol. <laughs> Steals the Tome again. <laughs> cheeky cheeky. Trying to trade trade the Invuln for a statue, maybe? Raider caught. Lin here still in a scary position. Six supply for one, two, zero. Lin still lacking behind a bit. Again, patience. It's a lot about patience here for Lin. He wants to delay the fight as much as he can. And the game in general. Well, Koda goes down, but it's the first Nova committed. That gives the Blade Master free reign for a little bit to go in here. TC with a Money stomp, I was about to say, but he's waiting for level 3. Now he's got level 3, and that's a hammer of a stomp. In the middle of everything, this stomp might win him the fight right away. He'll push on the TC, the next stomp is ready. Of course, there's no silence against it. 
DK in trouble. Is there a hex? Doesn't even need it. Invuln! Instant dispel with the destroyer and the invuln after. Beautiful play by one just barely keeping the hero alive. Shadowhunter waiting for the next heal wave. Heal salves as well applied. But Linus getting a lot of kills and it looks like Linus taking the upper hand again. Freebie Fiend there as well. The rally point a bit off the mark, but not quite free. Blade Master over to the shop. Squad of healing again. Dust too late. It seems like Lin is just a little bit faster. A little bit snappier with everything. 1 to 0 is looking close to elimination. Blade Master almost fully healed. Coming back. Now Lin has the levels. He's got the level 3 on the TC. Well, I guess the blade is still lacking the level 4. But he's close. Oh, the Naga. Now she's caught. And there's no invul anymore. Actually, invul was transferred. And has the dispel in time. TC, Colnova, Fork Lightning. Everything onto the TC. And he's... No way. Not dead. Survives on 11 HP. And now the Blade Master is going to clean up the rest. There's no Invuln anymore. The Lich is dead. The game is over. Invuln on the ground, in fact. Blade Master is going to yoink that one as well. After all these tomes, it's going to pick up some items now as well. And the Blade is almost dead. One end snare to finish the game. Blade will survive thanks to the before found Invuln. And it's GG. 1 to 0. Bested today. Lin stays alive in the lower bracket. With a 2-0 against his former clanmate from Newbie, Lin eliminates the undead from China and survives one more round with a quite impressive 2-0.